Once I've got an open ampule, I need to be careful because that's glass at the top, but it's always fun to show students that ampules have a type of like surface tension in that if you invert it, it won't come out. So that's just a giant hole in the top, but none of the medication is going to come out even if I invert it. So that's always pretty cool. To get the medication out of the ampule, I need a needle with a filtered syringe. So this filtered syringe is going to make sure that none of the glass particles that may have fallen into the medication when I popped the top off are going to be drawn up into my medication itself. So I can insert the needle and withdraw it while the ampule is sitting on the table, or I can insert the needle and invert to withdraw my medication. Like so. After I've withdrawn medication from my ampule with my filter needle, I then need to get rid of that filter needle so I can use that scoop method that we all definitely use in practice to recap my needle, remove the filter needle, and then at that point I can put a different needle on if I'm doing an intramuscular injection or a sub-Q injection, I suppose, or I can use this with a lower lock system to insert it into an IV line.